Hello everyone, welcome back to Penguin Coders. Welcome to the second part of our video series where we will be creating a news application based on Ionic and Angular. So we have already initiated our news, uh, our Ionic application in the last video and this is the preview of how our application looks like with side view navigation. So we have all these categories and some default placeholder labels present here. So before beginning with our tutorial, we will be first needing to remove all these labels and change the categories as per our news categories and also change the theme of this application to a light theme. So we will go to our app.component.html and we will be removing all the labels from here. So as we can see that the labels header is present here and the labels are present in an ng4. So I'll be removing the whole list from my HTML which will remove the labels from this application. So we see that the labels have been removed here. We will also change the header name to news app and we will also change the iron node to something which you want. So for now I will be changing it to powered by news API. So this will change the title and power to news app and powered by news API. Now first I will change the theme of this application to light. So for that I'll go to the theme folder and inside that we have variables.scss where on line 79 you will be seeing a media query which says prefers color scheme. So currently it is dark and I will change it to light. So changing it to light theme in changes the whole application to light theme which looks much better now. The next step is to change this categories of the application. So categories present here which we will be using as per our news categories. So I'll go back to my app.component.ts and here I can see we have application pages and labels listed here. So labels I can remove it because I don't require it in my UI. So labels I have removed and in the app pages I can change all this title. So I'll be changing all the titles to as per my news categories. So the first one will be general. Then we have sport general. Then we have business. And then we have sports category. After sports, we have entertainment category. And then we have technology then we have health and the last category is science so I'll copy this and I'll paste this so the category name will be science going back to our application we see that the categories name have been changed now we need to change the corresponding icons to match the theme of our category so here the icon names are listed as mail, paper, plane, heart, archive and others. So we can change these icon names and then the respective icon will get changed. It is possible due to the ionic icons module present which we have icons listed here. So we can click on any icon and we can see the name of that icon which, in, which is available in outline, filled or shaft. So we can change the icons respectively by looking at any of these icons here. So I'll change the icon of my general to a newspaper icon. Then the business category, I'll change it to business. For sports, I've chosen basketball. And for entertainment, I have chosen a video cam. For technology, I have chosen a laptop. For health, I have chosen a med kit. And lastly, for science, I have chosen a rocket icon. Now, if I go back to my INIC app and I see, then the respective categories have their respective icons available. So, which is looking much good on the application now. Now, the, the part we need to change is to change the URL and the respective headings present here when we click on the respective category. To do that, I'll go to my app routing module and see how, it, how the routing has been done and how those title is being displayed. 
So we see that the routing is being done by matching paths. So if the path is default, we are getting redirected to folder slash inbox. Now we don't want that and we want it to change it to headlines. So we change it to general category. So this is what we will do. And how it will get to know which is general and all that will be need to change in the app.component.ts. So the URL of the uh, title is reflected in the top bar. So we will change this. So URLs will change accordingly as per the title. So this will become as general. Then the second will become business. The third one will be sports. The entertainment category. Then we have technology. And then we have health. The last category will be science. Now we go to appROuting.module.ts. So the first category is general and the other will be folder slash ID. So we'll remove this folder slash and we will just redirect to ID. So saving this and now we go to our default application by the home page. So the home page, if you see it gets redirected to general and clicking on any category redirects to that page where the title is changed. But the pr one problem is there that this title is not coming in title case and the first letter is a small. So we will be adding a pipe to this uh, to this title so that it's reflected in title case. So it is present in folder page.html. So where we have this folder uh, title present. So I'll add a title case pipe to it and see. So after adding a title case pipe, you can see that the category name is displayed here and it's changed to uh, properly whatever the URL is present on the top. So sports is uh, sports. Yeah, this is app.routing module change we have done. And now I will remove this uh, middle entertainment and explore UI component which links to the Ionic framework page. So I'll be removing this. I'll remove this div container and save it. So this setups the whole application. And now we will we can proceed to building our news card, which will be displaying the news from different sources. So we will be building the news card from Ionic, which will be an Ionic card. So we will be building something like this, which we have a news image, the name of the new, the title of the news, the newspaper or news website from which the news is from and some and some description. So in this video, we will be adding a news card component and building this type of layout. So we can use the same layout from the Ionic website itself. So I'll go to view source and which have, which has the news card iron card present here. So before that I'll go and, and I'll click on this new generating a new Ionic component so that we can add the card layout present there. So I'll generate ionic generate component components slash news card. So we can see that our news card component has been generated and we have all the files ready. I also like to keep a news module if each component should have its own module. So I'll I'll be generating a module for our news card as well. In the module, I'll be declaring the news card component and I'll be importing the Ionic module here. Also, since I need to use this component in other components as well, I'll be exporting this component. So I'll put it in the exports array and I'll export this news card component. So this uh, finalizes my uh, news card module file. And now we will go to our news card component HTML where I'll be adding the card layout. 
So I'll copy the this uh, card layout from the official website. This is INIC Ion card. I'll copy and paste it here. Put this in folder page.html so that it shows me the news card. So I'll put it here. So I'll put the selector of this news card, which I can see from news card component.ts, which is app news card. So I'll copy the selector and I'll put it here app news card. So it shows an error that app, no, app news card is not an Angular component. So I have missed adding it in the folder.module.ts. So I'll import my news card module here and then save it. So after importing news card module, we see that the error is gone. And if we head back to our browser, we see that our, our news card is displayed on the uh, layout and we are getting an error that the image is not present. So what we will add instead of adding a single image, we will add a random image generator. So we, I went to this website called pixel.photos and here we can choose any random image. It will display any random image if we give it the size. So I have copied this link and I go to my HTML where the card has an image source. So I'll paste the source as uh, pick some photos 200 300 but i'll change the width so that it reflects the actual size which we will be getting from the news api so something around 800 500 so if i click on save and go back to my ionic app i can see that if i get a random image every time if i choose any different category or anything so business sports entertainment i can see my news card is being loaded here and if i refresh it I'll getting a different icon each uh, image each time. So this is how our news application will look like. And in the next part of our video, we will be creating a service from news API, which will be used to fetch the news articles with images, description, title, and the news source. And we will be displaying that in a dynamic fashion, which with categories in our news application. So this was all for this video. I hope you like it. If you have any doubts or any problems in this video, then you can comment and I'll try to address it as soon as possible. For more such Android content, you can subscribe to this channel and look out for more other videos. So thank you all.